hello everyone, uh, welcome to Tom's Trains. Uh, today we're doing a bit of depoling. Um, for those of you who are looking at this and thinking, well he's doing obviously a train, um, I can tell you that the techniques I'm using are absolutely identical, whether you're building uh, a plane, a train, a car, a boat, using water line transfers, the techniques are identical. So hopefully I can show you how it all works and give you a few tips along the way. Um, for the train guys, this is my LNERW1 and I'm using Fox transfers to decal the locomotive. Um, as you can see on the transfer sheet here, I don't know whether the camera picks it up, I think it does. Um, effectively there's uh, the carrier film here, the carrier that the decal is printed on is quite yellow. So previously uh, I've just uh, removed that carrier film with a sharp scalpel blade and so we're just applying the letters and that'll explain why I've masked up. Obviously, if you're uh, deckling a plane, uh, the chances are you won't have to do this. Um, the only reason I've had to do that is because the, the carrier film is yellow, probably due to age. Um, so you can see here that the uh, locomotive itself is uh, already deckled, and we've done the tender, which is here. Whoops, just get rid of that bit. Uh, we've done the tender already. So you can see there that that looks pretty much painted on and I haven't even glossed over that just yet. So the key I think to successful deckling and making those decals look you know, painted on as though they're part of the actual locomotive um, is by preparing the surface before you go to uh, apply the decals and by that I mean you need a gloss finish. And if you can see there, that is really nice and shiny. I actually used a semi-matte gloss. Uh, sorry, a semi-gloss on that. That's not a full gloss, but that's perfectly sufficient. And you can see those decals are absolutely welded on there. So how do we do that? Well, it's quite straightforward, really. Uh, I'm just going to get a piece of tissue paper just to rest the model on to protect it. Uh, and here you can see I've just marked off the correct height. Um, where the decal's actually going to sit on there, and I've just marked off LNER so that I don't make any silly mistakes. So here we go. Then we're ready to uh, ready to go with this one. We'll get a decal and we'll start uh, doing some deckling. Um, I use a product called Micro Set. There we go. I use two products actually. We'll use the second one later on. But Micro Set is a setting solution for decals. It's by Microscale Industries. Uh, basically what it does is it softens the decal down when you're applying it. So naturally the decal wants to be flat. It doesn't want to conform to uh, irregular shapes. So for example on an aeroplane uh, you might have panel lines. That decal doesn't naturally want to sit down into the panel line itself. It wants to lie over the top. What this stuff does is softens the decal to encourage it to sit down into those panel lines and that helps you to get that real painted on look which is really important so that people look at the model and they go wow you know that's actually part of the model rather than something that's obviously stuck on something I forgot to mention earlier and it's about the preparation phase is if you've ever had something called silvering if you've ever noticed where you get sort of like white patches or silver patches under the decal uh, that is silvering and that is because you're trying to decal over a surface that is either too rough or is not glossy enough and the whole way to prevent that, in my opinion, is by having that nice glossy surface. So that is absolutely vital. So let's assume now that we've glossed our model and we're ready now to apply the decals. The first thing I do, um, obviously if you're, if, you know, if you're just applying decals onto an aeroplane, you don't need to bother with masking it off and marking it out. But um, the first thing I do then is just to brush the surface of the model just to get rid of any irregularities, any grease, any mess on there that might stop the decal sitting down. Next thing I do is grab the decal that I want to put on so we'll start off with the L from here like so I've just got those in a little cut just to keep them out of the way the main transfer sheet once you've cut your decals out I just use one of these just uh, a Tamiya pair of decal scissors nice fine scissors will do better to cut your decals out from the transfer sheet with scissors rather than a scalpel if you slip with a scalpel you're liable to cut across and ruin the decal so that's no good so to hold the decal, 
Uh, I just use a pair of these. These are self-locking tweezers. These are absolutely fantastic for your modeling. They're going to help you with all sorts of things. You'll be lost without them. I've got all sorts. I've got these ones here. These ones will look £3.50 there. So uh, you can get them really cheap and they just self-lock and they hold stuff. You know, that will hold onto my finger like that, you see. Um, hold stuff in there and that means that we can grab this decal and not lose it in the water. So you want a bowl of lukewarm water. Not hot, if it's too hot the decal will float away and that'll be a pain. Too cold and it'll take ages. If you're unsure, probably go on the cold side to start off with. So I'm just going to grab the decal here. It's on the uh, tweezers already. And just soak, hold it in there just for a couple of seconds just to soak the backing paper. And then once that's soaked, I'm just going to take it out and I'm just going to rest it on the workbench. Just like that. Okay. The reason for doing that is obviously if we just let the decal paper float around in the water, uh, first of all, it's hard to grab hold of. Secondly, if the decal does lift off for any reason, it's a real pain to get it back. So by doing this, we can control the way in which the decal lifts off the paper. Now, I just grab a little bit of water on my brush there, just on my paintbrush, and just check that. That's absolutely fine. And then, with the micro set, that's just off shot, actually. What I do is blue tack it to the desk. Okay, let's move that across. There we go. Blue tack that to the desk. Just stops it. They have narrow pots and it's easy to knock it over. How do I know that? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that. Um, so there we go, our decal is already off the transfer paper, it's ready to go. So the next step is just to grab a little bit of microset and just place it onto the model where you want the transfer to go. So just a little bit of that. And remember, that is for setting that decal down onto the surface of the model and ensuring that it sticks nicely uh, onto it. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. So excuse me if you hear any noise from the camera. Okay, so hopefully you can see now. Um, I've just zoomed in a little bit so you can see a bit better. We're going to go on with the first L now. So the trick to doing this, and this is the beauty of these self-locking tweezers, is that you don't have to worry about holding that decal. This is gripping it for me. So I've got a free hand. I can position this decal. And what we're going to do is just simply slide the decal from the backing paper straight onto the model, just like that. The decal doesn't slide, it doesn't ride up in the air, it doesn't go anywhere funny, it literally just slides straight onto the model. So now we can use the tweezers, which have a little bit more grip, just to gently position that decal exactly where we want it to go. And because we've got the liquid on there, it goes down really nicely and it's able to move around. You don't want too much water. Too much water is not good. The deck will float around everywhere. Too little water and the deck will grip. So just check. And if you're doing a, an aeroplane or a boat or something like that, you just cross-reference your material just to ensure that you're putting it in the right place. Have a little look back and see whether it looks about right. And then with one of these, with a cotton wool bud, there it is. There we are. Cotton wool bud. There we go. Uh, we're going to just go in there and we're just going to lightly dab. I'm trying to, I'll do this with my left hand so you can see. Lightly dab just on the corner of the decal just to press it down, just to give uh, an anchor point for the decal. And we're just going to move along the decal, just slowly press it down very gently, just removing some of that water and sticking the decal down. Okay, the decal is now stuck down. So now we're going to change the technique. And we're going to use a rolling action. So we're going to roll the cotton bud across the decal, and this will push out any final moisture and really push the decal onto the surface of the model. So there we go, and I'll just show you that with my left hand. So just rolling across, like that, on the surface of the model. Pressing quite hard now, and just sticking that down. And now, that decal is really well stuck onto the model. So, I've got to do the end now, so let's do that. And I'll show you again what we do. And once you get into a rhythm with this, 
you can actually deckle quite quickly. And the beauty of it being that you can, if you've got a couple of these tweezers, you can have one soaking whilst you're putting another one on, so on and so forth, and you can be quite quick. So here we go. We've just put the decal onto the self-locking tweezers there, as it is. And we go straight into the water, which you now can't see because we zoomed in. So let's just move that in a touch. There we go, into the water. A few seconds, the colder the water, the longer you need to leave it in there. That's the key. So there we go, take that out of the water, let him sit. And if you don't think there's enough water on there, you can just grab some water from the bowl and just dip it onto the, onto the transfer just to help it soak in a bit. Next thing to do, just wipe off the uh, Wipe off the paintbrush there, a little bit of micro set. Dab it into the position where you want it on the model. And now we can check the deck and see if it moves. Uh, it's about to go, there we go. Now what I've managed to do here is actually, <laughs> I have caught the deck or just the edge of the deck or on the tweezers so it won't move so I'm just going to grab that like so take it off there there we go that's released it now so I've just had to change uh, a little bit awkward there with the old hands but not a problem I've done this a few times before so it's okay so again just holding the transfer quite a shallow angle to the model and then just sliding on like so with the paintbrush okay there we go so now I like to use the tweezers just um, to position the decal on there, they seem to have a little bit more grip, so I'm just going to move that across now. Okay, so we've now finished applying those decals then onto the model itself, and I'm just going to finish off by applying a little bit of this, which is Microsol, uh, onto the top of the uh, decals and that should really help them to suck down and give you that real painted on look that we're trying to achieve with this. So all you do is just unscrew, pop that in a little tape holder like so and just gently dab on the top of each decal a little bit of Microsol. Pop the lid back on there like so. Put the paintbrush away and hopefully you can see in the light there the liquid on there and we've just got to now just wait and leave that and the decals will actually shrivel up when you apply this stuff and you'll think oh my god what have I done I've ruined it but don't worry uh, because once it's dry it will actually flatten out and you'll have a beautiful painted on looking decal. So join me in a little while and we'll show you the finished article and we'll do a quick summary of uh, what we did. Okay so we've now finished deckling the W1 tender. I just want to do a quick summary uh, of what we did in order to show you how to get that really nice painted on look with the decals. Um, so first of all as we spoke about preparation is really the absolute key and both on the locomotive and on the tender I've tried to achieve a really nice glossy finish before applying those decals and now you can see as a result of that that we've got a beautiful painted on look with our decals and once that's glossed over that's going to look fantastic so stage one absolutely preparation get that nice gloss coat down secondly cut out the decals sharp pair of scissors don't use a uh, scalpel uh, to actually cut out, physically cut out the decals because you'll slip and you know liable to cut across your decal sheet and ruin them. So you know just use a nice pair of sharp scissors uh, for cutting out those decals. Then for soaking the transfer in the water, get some self-locking tweezers like these. They're absolutely invaluable. You'll use them for all sorts of stuff anyway. So get yourself some of these. And remember. Just dip the transfer in the water, let it soak for a couple of seconds and remove it. That way you're controlling 
not like controlling exposure, I suppose, controlling how much water and how much time that deck was actually getting. If you just let it float in the bowl of water, you're going to struggle because that deck will eventually lift off. Whilst your deck is soaking, you can use some of this stuff, some of the micro set uh, as a stage one. Just place a little bit of that with the paintbrush on the model where you want the uh, where you want that decal to go. And then once the decal's ready, just test it with the paintbrush, see if it's ready to slide, and offer the decal up against the model at a shallow angle, and just use the brush to push the decal onto the model itself. Take your time lining it all up, and then once you're happy, cross-referenced it with your uh, with your uh, source, whatever you're using for reference material, and then use one of these cotton wool buds just to dab lightly on top of the decal just to secure one corner in place and then once you're happy that everything is in place roll across the decal so we're just using that rolling movement there just to press the decal down once that's all dry and the decal is in place and you're happy with everything just let it set for a few moments and then you can use stage two which is to apply the microsol again using a paintbrush Apply the microsol lightly over the top, and as I said earlier, it will wrinkle up. The decal will wrinkle up, but don't worry about that. Just leave it alone. Don't touch it. Don't mess around with it. It will settle down, and the decal will lie flat. You might need to hit it a couple of times with the microsol actually, just to, if you've got quite a complex curve or something that the decal sitting around, like on an aeroplane or something over a panel line. You might need a few applications of microsol to really get it to sit down. Just let it dry each time, don't touch the decal when it's drying, and then eventually you'll have beautiful painted on decals. The last stage of course then, which we haven't done in this video, um, is to simply airbrush over the top with your chosen varnish and seal those decals in. Leave them overnight before you do that, make sure they're fully dry, and then you can uh, seal those decals permanently in and they will look absolutely beautiful. Okay, that's all this time. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe to the uh, videos. Obviously, I'm new to YouTube at the moment, so I'm just trying to find my way. Um, and um, hopefully, you like what we're doing. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.